So do it ahead of time. So stick to five minutes. Hola, ¿cómo están, mis amigas? Today, I will be sharing with you 8 study habits in 5 minutes. Before I start, I just want to say that I finished college a few weeks ago and I took up accountancy in DLSU Manila. So, let's start! So first, you have to listen in class. I know it can be dragging, exhausting, or even boring because sometimes the teacher just keeps on blabbing. You have to listen in class so that you can save time because you don't have to listen to the recording or if ever you have to listen to the recording again, you can skip parts and just focus on those that you missed out in class. This will save you time and it will help you understand the lessons better. So for my second study habit, you have to find the best time for you to study. It can be during the morning, in the afternoon, or at night. So when you find that perfect time for you, you have to allocate an hour or two during that specific time of the day so that you can be productive. You wouldn't have to cram everything at once. So one or two hours a day already goes a long way. So third, when a requirement is given early and you have time to do it since there's no workloads yet, just do it as soon as possible or as early as possible so that you wouldn't have to cram it all in the end. Especially during finals week, professors tend to give all the deadlines cramped up into one week which is very very hassle. I know some of us are already best crammers in the world but it's always better to do requirements when you know you still have time and it helps you produce more quality outputs. So do it ahead of time and don't let it pile up because you'll eventually suffer in the end. Make life easier for yourself. For my fourth study habit, I make sure that you understand the lesson discussed in class during the day itself or as soon as possible. Meaning you try to catch up with the lessons and don't leave any lessons misunderstood. So after class, if there's a lesson that I did not understand, I make sure to catch up and try to review it myself so that I don't have to cram my knowledge a day before the exam because if I do that my understanding would probably deteriorate and I wouldn't really understand I'll just end up accepting everything that the teacher says because cramming sometimes deteriorates your understanding and your retention span if you already understand the lessons before the exam date it is easier for you to review because you don't have to cram every knowledge in your brain anymore so you just have to recall and remember and it will be easier. So make your life easier. For my fifth study habit, I make sure that I understand the lessons and not just memorize or accept what the teacher says. I know that there are instances that we think, this lesson is useless. How am I going to use this in my life? It, this is just something so boring. I don't even care whether I learn this or not. It will not help me. And sometimes in our lessons, there are things that we unconsciously apply to our lives and make us better people. So you have to understand and appreciate every lecture. Additional knowledge will always help us as it helps us grow, be better, and be wiser when it comes to the real world. My sixth study habit is you have to give yourself breaks in between your review sessions. You can't just cramp up all the knowledge in your head. You're gonna be exhausted and you're gonna you're gonna turn out to be demotivated in the long run. So, five minute breaks are important so that you refresh your mind and you give yourself some time to absorb what you actually study. But, don't turn five minute breaks into one hour. Just stick to five minutes. Because if you keep making exceptions to yourself and turn your five minutes to one hour breaks, there's nothing gonna happen to you. So stick to five minutes. Seventh study habit is award yourself when you accomplish something, no matter how petty it is. For example, you finish studying for a quiz. Give yourself some Netflix time, YouTube time, social media time, or whatever you want to do. As long as it makes you feel rewarding to accomplish things. So award yourself and celebrate your little achievement. Because those small achievements will actually turn out to be the biggest achievements that you attain in life. For my last study habit, this is also very important. Try to get enough sleep. You have to get sleep because if you don't get enough sleep, it will be hard for you to retain what you study, understand what you study, and actually appreciate what you study. So always try to sleep. It helps you regain your energy. Before I end this video, I just have one advice 
if you really want to ace your online classes, you can't just study hard. You have to study smart by having the best study habits and by making sure that you enjoy what you're doing. Because if you don't enjoy, if you don't enjoy studying and learning, you wouldn't be able to understand and appreciate what you do. So you end up demotivated. So these are my eight study habits and I hope you learned something from me. Good luck in everything you do and I wish you the best. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Bye!